Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the reading for Taurus for September 7th through the 13th. Okay, so we're just going to see what comes up. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to start right here. What do we have for Taurus for the week of September 7th through the 13th? What do we have for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? The thinking man, the thinking man. Somebody, if this, if you are the man that is watching this, it looks like you are pondering something, pondering what you have to offer. Perhaps looks like there's a rock in that person's hand, um, a crystal. It's a crystal, but a crystal is like a rock, huh? Um, somebody is dealing with a man that is very intelligent. This person is thinking about their future. Uh, maybe going through a period of healing right now. So maybe that's why they're thinking. They may have completed something or they're going to be completing something in their life and they need to heal. Um, if you are the woman watching this, you are probably dealing with a very smart man who uh, doesn't just leap into things. This is somebody who is very... Uh, logical uh, I'd say conservative um, if you are the man watching this you're taking on that energy of uh, I feel like this man may be a little detached Okay, because he's in a period of thinking. So maybe you're you're contemplating your next move. Okay, so you're dealing. We have a thinking man here. Give me a card for Taurus, please, for September 7th through the 13th. Please give me a card for Taurus, September 7th through the 13th, 2020. One card, please. Woo! Here he comes. Here he comes. He's going to make a move. Whoever this man is, if you are the man watching this, I see you taking charge. Getting in the driver's seat, making a move, uh, being in control, finding your discipline and your willpower to go after what you want. If you are the woman watching this, you I feel as though you are going to be victorious because whoever this thinking man is, is probably going to make a move. Okay, this chariot is somebody that is very determined, somebody that um, controls their emotions, and that makes sense with this, with this thinking man. This may, this man is not somebody that typically jumps into things, but I think that whoever this man is is going to uh, come riding on in. All right, somebody could be going for a ride with this man. Okay. Um, could be dealing with a cancer. Uh, doesn't have to be a cancer. Um, but somebody is going to be taking a journey. They're going to be going someplace. They're thinking about it right now. And the seventh, it may be prominent. Um, it doesn't have to be, though. It could be the tenth, maybe right around the tenth. The tenth is a what? The a Thursday? Anyhow, um,. This is a man that is taking charge. He is going to, to do something. Okay, he's going to do something. He's thinking about what he has to offer. Um, whether he wants to give it, whether he doesn't. Dog, far away. Ooh, it came flying out. Dog, far away. A distant friend is thinking of you. So there's, and this is could be at a, this person definitely could be at a distance. Let's get one more card. Oh, 
ladder climbing towards success so this is is success as well so Taurus you are headed towards success we, and if this is this may not be love related, we could have somebody here that is thinking about moving. Uh, they're they maybe they're they're planning their own uh, business. You know, I'm not sure what is going on here, but this is somebody that is very that finds the determination and the willpower and the drive to bring success and this is some this is like a planner a, a thinker so we definitely have a very intelligent person here that is climbing the ladder to success they are going to be victorious but this has to do with somebody that is thinking and it makes sense take a look at that a distant friend and then we get the thinking man okay so somebody and it's distant unbelievable because this is the distance this is the distance. This is this is this card. Okay, these two cards are this card rolled up into one. So there is somebody at a distance that is thinking of you. And it looks like they're going to accept some sort of challenge. And interesting. So what do we have for Taurus? What do we have for Taurus? Whoever you are dealing with has just completed a significant chapter in their life. Okay, they have just um, learned a lesson. Uh, they've been on some sort of spiritual journey. They had to learn a lesson. They've just completed that lesson. You may have your guard up, Taurus. You may be expecting trouble. You may be in a, you know, a period of defensiveness. You know, you just feel like you need to protect yourself. You may not even be communicating with this person. You maybe you haven't communicated with them in a while. This person could live in a different area. Okay, because of this world card, whoever you're dealing with, I feel um, this the person that you are dealing with has just left something in the past. They now are ready to focus on the future. I feel like they're, you need to be getting prepared right now because here they come. This person is now ready to come towards you, but they may be a little intimidated by you, Taurus, whoever you're dealing with. I feel like there's difficulty in communication, maybe because you're guarded and they know that, okay? Maybe they uh, let you down in the past or they, they took too long or they made another choice, you know, and that was their lesson. They, need, they needed to finish some business with somebody. Um, I do feel as though this person um, has been watching you, but they haven't been communicating because they needed to finish up whatever it is that they were doing. Um, but you should be getting prepared right now. Okay, get prepared right now because you are going to receive some sort of message from this person that probably uh, it may confuse you. It may, it may uh, make you wonder what, what's up. You know, what's up? Uh, I think that there's a possibility to have a future with whoever this person is. Um, you could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius, or a Cancer by the looks of things. Uh, whoever you were dealing with um, had another person, and that's what they needed to finish up. They needed to finish up their business with this other person. Um, and I feel like they may have rejected you in the past. Maybe it was a long time ago. I don't know. Um, maybe three months ago. Maybe maybe three weeks ago. Some, maybe it was longer than that. Could have been from, you know, a long, long time ago. Anyway, whoever you were dealing with or whoever you're questioning um, was dealing with another person that they were very... Uh, 
I don't know, it feels like they were sexually attracted to this person. This person's confidence is what drew them in. And I feel like they rejected you and they chose that person. They probably... Uh, have a hard time letting this person go because of their attractiveness. They were very attracted to whoever this person was. I feel as though you... You are, you may be, you may feel conflicted about getting in any new contract with them because of this other person. I do feel like there was a third party here. Um, this Six of Cups reversed is freedom from obligation, and you know, there's memories, there's some sort of connection that was denied with this person. This person, it's almost like they denied you or they 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 made another choice they made another choice and i feel like but they haven't been able to get over you because i feel like you have some sort of soulmate connection with this person and they haven't been able to stop thinking about you and i feel like now they are coming in they're coming in with some sort of message now it may have something to do with it i just happen to look at this ship it may have something to do with a ship or uh, they're finally they finally decided where they want to land you know that it, it's time it's time to stop you know they can't escape their feelings anymore um, I think that they've tried to forget it they've tried to push their feelings aside but you know when there's a deep connection there's a deep connection um, <clears throat> justice justice on the bottom so this is about uh getting what you deserve this is about balance it's about doing the right thing uh something going in your favor you could be dealing with a with a libra in particular it doesn't have to be a libra um i do feel like somebody walked away uh they walked away from a third party. They walked away from a third party and now they're on the path to recovery. And they may want to heal a connection with you. I feel like uh, they were struggling. They were going back and forth with for some time with whoever it was in their past. You know, they were, they were having this tug of war with this person because this person was so... Uh, attracted they were so attracted to this person i think they were uh, attracted to, to this person's body okay physical looks that kind of thing maybe not they may have been attracted to this person's confidence um, but i do feel that that cycle that they had you know where there but there was a lot of pettiness there was a lot of bickering there was a lot of fighting going on the person that they were dealing with probably uh, played a lot of games with them, had stiff competition, and had a hard time uh, letting go of their past. So I feel like there's 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 a lot of repeating patterns here. I think that your person that is coming has uh, turned their back. This has turned their back on the past. And they may be hoping for forgiveness from you. They may be hoping that they can have another chance. I feel as though um, there was divided loyalty. Maybe you met this person when they weren't completely finished with the other one. Um, I feel it I feel like you need to get prepared right now. You need to start getting yourself prepared to reminisce about whoever this person is that you have unfinished business with. That person may have not chosen you then and it's because they were heartbroken. They were. They get the three of swords here. They were heartbroken. And they needed to learn. They needed to learn to uh, not fight for somebody that is promiscuous. They needed to learn to not fight for somebody that uh, loved competition. This person that they were that they were pining over uh, was very very competitive. Um, 
but I feel like it's been unbalanced for some time now and I feel like now they're looking for balance. Now they've come to their senses and I feel like they're going to be asking for forgiveness. I think somebody's going to be asking you for forgiveness. I feel like, or they may be uh, wanting to leave the past behind and start over with you because the contract they had with that other person is now over. Somebody has left. Somebody has left. And I think that they pushed you out of their mind. They pushed you out of their mind so that they, you know, they just, it's almost like they just buried, they just buried the memories, buried the feelings. Um, but I think that you can expect that this person is thinking of you. If you are the man watching this, you may be thinking of a feminine or the masculine feminine. I don't know if you're same sex, that's whatever. I feel like the masculine is thinking about making a move. Um, and I think that he should. I think that he should. I think that uh, the the person that he is dealing with will be defensive, will be conflictive, cl conflicted over, you know, the news, but will consider giving them a chance. I feel like this is some sort of uh, contract. I think it's a soulmate contract. I do. I feel like it is a soulmate contract that, you know, is meant to be. And I feel like, you know, you, in the future, you could end up moving or this person, you could end up moving to them or they could end up moving to you. I do feel like there is some sort of distance here. There's some sort of travel that is involved. Um, I think that uh, the third party may may have you know, walked away or left or the, or the other person told them to, they, they, there's been a separation, put it that way. There has been a separation because it just wasn't meant to be. And I think that there's now this person is realizing, you know, what they want. So I, 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 I believe this person is, is going to be messaging you perhaps this week. This may, you may have met this person uh, right around this week. You know what I mean? Maybe at a late, at a previous, you know, year or something like that. Maybe three years ago. Um, either way, I feel like this person, whoever is going to be communicating with you is ready they're ready. They're ready to leave the past hurts behind. They're ready to uh, stop playing games. They don't want to play games with the person they were playing with in the past. They're done with that. They want. They're ready for a new life. They're definitely sick of fighting. I feel like you're going to have to make a decision probably by the end of the week whether you want to, you know, trust this person or not. You're going to be getting a message, especially if you are the female. And I feel like whoever you are dealing with knows that there's a connection. They felt the connection instantly with you, but there was already somebody in the picture. I think that you can get prepared and I think you're going to be very conflicted. I think that you should be getting prepared right now. I think there is somebody from your past that uh, may have broken your heart or they ignored you or they ghosted you and it has may have something to do with the ocean. I just happen to see the ocean here. I mean, I have it here too, so I'm not sure. This person may not have communicated. They blocked their feelings. I feel like you're going to be receiving communication from this person. That's how I feel. Let's get one of these. Let's get one of these uh, right here. What do we got for Taurus? What do we have for Taurus for the week of September 7th through the 13th? 
Oh, there it is. Ooh! Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. There is somebody here. There is somebody here that is very attracted to you. I think there's a mutual attraction. But I think that the connection was ignored. I think the connection was ignored because they were still dealing with another person. But I think the contract is over with that person and you are going to be receiving some sort of message from them. They've been watching you this whole time. Good luck.